Welcome once again. It's time for Shelf Life Book Reviews Online, where I present to you another great and highly recommended book that hopefully you will consider purchasing. And the book today for hockey fans is A Whole New Game, Economics, Politics, and the Transformation of the Business of Hockey in Canada by Neil Longley. This is published by Douglas and McIntyre, and it retails for $34.95. Neil Longley is a professor emeritus at the University of Massachusetts, and he certainly has written a very well-researched and extensive look at the world and the business of hockey uh, over the decades, or you could call it over the century, because hockey has been around for uh, pretty well a century. And uh, he talks about first, uh, the original six teams, of course. Now, I grew up with the original six teams. Uh, that, to me, was hockey when you knew every player. But uh, in the uh, 1967, the end of 1967, when Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup for the last time, um, just after that, the 1967-68 season, six more teams were brought into the National Hockey League and there were no Canadian teams added. There were still uh, only Toronto and Montreal, and but it was uh, added more uh, revenue, of course, more fans, and brought more players in. Now, at one time, uh, the National Hockey League consisted of 100% Canadian hockey players, and uh, over the years, of course, that changed radically uh, and dramatically, and uh, when American players uh, were brought in, uh, that um, well, made hockey more expansive. And then uh, the European players were brought in as well. So I think they, uh, the author mentions that today, I think 42% of the players are actually Canadian. So they're almost in the minority now. But still, uh, he gives us a broad overview of the business of hockey. He talks about certain franchises like most specifically, the Montreal Canadiens that were one of the top franchises at one time. They mainly uh, used uh, francophone hockey players, such as you know Maurice Richard, Jean Beliveau, Yvonne Cornoyer, and many others. And he uh, talks about an interesting case with Patrick Raw, who was their uh, talented goaltender in, in, in the 1995 season that uh, they were playing Detroit Red Wings and uh, Patrick Waugh was having a particularly bad night. I think he gave up five goals uh, in his first five or six shots and then by the middle of the second period uh, Montreal was down nine to one and Patrick Waugh was really upset that he was still in the net. So finally uh, Tremblay, the coach, uh, pulled him and um, Patrick Waugh said to Tremblay, I never want to play for this team again. Two days later, he was traded to Colorado Avalanche. So um, the the author um, talks about Montreal that how they still wanted to have francophone hockey players on the team, and they did draft some, but they all turned out to be failures. Now there are several other areas that the author covers, and that is hockey uh, in the West, uh, where uh, Western teams like. Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, and Winnipeg all came into the National Hockey League. And there were rivalries. They even tried for a hockey team uh, in Saskatchewan, but that uh, sort of fell through. But basically, the book is about all the different aspects of the sport. And it's all about money, let's be honest here. Uh, the fact that there are more American teams than Canadian teams speaks volumes about the, the monetary, uh, well, backlash <laughs> that comes from having a hockey team. Uh, the fact there are 32 teams now in the league and the newest franchises were Seattle and Vegas, which are hardly considered hockey cities, uh, it's still money, money, money. And that is the bottom line. Uh, Neil Longley really gives us a fantastic overview of the sport and he talks about little known facts about the teams and the financial aspects of hockey. So it's definitely um, a book that if you're a hockey fan and you want to look at behind the scenes of hockey, not just about the players, but it's about the financial aspects of the hockey teams, then this book, uh, definitely a whole new game, 
is definitely uh, a book that will score big time with hockey fans. And um, he, he also, by the way, I will add that he also mentioned the World Hockey Association, which was the competition for the National Hockey League, but it eventually, um, well, fell through and many of the teams were absorbed by the National Hockey League. And he also mentions um, the Junior Hockey League as, as well. So it's a, it's a look at all aspects of hockey. So this is definitely a book that hockey fans will want to add to their hockey library. So if you do purchase the book, please let me know if you do agree with my review. I think you will enjoy it fully. So until we meet again with another book, and we will very shortly, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.